This Memorial Day, while Americans were sh were being Americans, forking down slabs of meat, stuffing their mouths with wieners, and sipping on golden showers of beer while blasting that good old rock and roll or country from their big pick 'em up trucks, and filled with the penny nationalism that comes from being part of the brainwashed masses. In Ireland, however, they were doing something a bit more dignified and important, like securing the right for gay people to marry in the nation becoming the first nation to do so through a referendum. But of course, Americans just can't stand for that. Now I'm not talking about Americans, I'm talking about Americans. Americans are classy people with a sense of honor and pride, but also understand that people have the right to self-determination. They're civil, constitutional, and let's face it, human rights. Americans are, are fascist, gun-toting, tobacco-shooting, Bible-thumping, God-fearing, fundamentalist assholes who think they have a divine right to shit all over everyone. Following the Irish referendum on gay marriage, a decision made by the masses and their sovereign right to do so, the people of the Westboro Baptist cult decided to be their typical fundamentalist selves and poke fun at Ireland for what they did. On Twitter on Monday, May 25th, they posted the Irish flag with the words fag flag only problem was, it was the flag of Côte d'Ivoire, or the Ivory Coast. Shortly after being called on this by Claire Louise Cohen, a, con a content multimedia and social media editor at the Irish Independent newspaper, the fascist church acknowledges, acknowledged their mistake, but not without firing back in their usual, well, trollish ways, stating, Now that you mention it, God does hate the Ivory Coast. The hatred of Ireland does not just stem from the recent referendum. The fundamentalist organization, founded and led by Fear Fred Phelps Sr. up until his death on March 19, 2014, had also openly mocked the Irish in dis a display of prejudice and childishness in 2013, where they river danced while saying God hates Ireland. They now claim that this was a prediction of the result of the referendum, which is asinine. There is no way in hell they could have known about the referendum as Basically, the referendum was barely an inkling at that point. The referendum was only hinted at in May of 2013 and was not even proposed officially until January of 2015 and put on the ballot in March of this year. Of course, Westboro has been hot in the open mouth insert foot department anyway as they got their asses rammed by J.K. Rowling this past week. The, the Twitter war began this week after the Potter author was tweeting her jubilation after the Irish referendum and fans were s celebrating right along with her. When Rowan posted a Keanu Reeves meme stating, what if Dumbledore and Gandalf were gay together, and stated that they would get married in Ireland. Westboro responded three days later, showing how slow they are, by tweeting a pic of bigotry with her typical Leviticus 1822 excuse and stating if it happens Westboro Baptist Church will pick it with the hashtag not banned. The reason for this is Westboro is banned in the United Kingdom as a terrorist organization and rightfully so for their abomination of hate field speeches. J.K. Rowling responded back saying, alas, the sheer awesomeness of such a union is in such a place would blow your tiny bigoted minds out of, thick, out of your thick sloping skulls. By the way, it is also important to note that in Ireland they are not banned as opposed to they are being banned as they are banned in the UK. Maybe Ireland should get on that. Some fans criticized her for standing up to the group, stating that she was bringing more attention to the group. Rowling responded by stating that she does not care about the Westboro Baptist Church and that it's important that scared gay kids who aren't out yet see hate speech challenged. In this case, I rightfully agree with Miss Rowling. They may be a small, insignificant group, but they also have views that are dangerous and are sadly shared with a lot of the Christian right community who wish to see LGBT plus equality eroded and its activism squashed. It is important for, to, write, to fight against this fascism by fighting back against it, exposing the bigotry and engaging them in direct action and confrontation in hopes that one day they, uh, they may one day be extinguished like the flame of a candle so that the oppressed may be allowed to be free from fear, 
free from violence and free from prejudice and discrimination. That is equality. That is freedom. It is also interesting to note that in the following year that Fred Phelps has been dead, that the Westboro Baptist Church has gotten more fascist and tightened its stranglehold on its members, especially females. Shirley Phelps Roper, the daughter of Fred Phelps Sr., who has long been the loudmouth of the group, has had her role drastically reduced for some reason or another. It is unknown as to the reasons why this is, but what is known is that the leadership no longer seems to be, at least by practice, in the hands of one person, uh, but in the hands of an all-male board of elders, which sounds a lot like clerical Islam almost to me. And th this board of elders includes Steve Drain, Timothy Phelps, Jonathan Phelps, Samuel Phelps Roper, who is uh, Shirley's husband, or no, Shirley's son, sorry, uh, Charles Hockenbarger, and Fred Phelps Jr. Now, I believe Samuel Phelps Roper may have left the group. That I have not yet been able to substantiate. So don't hold me to that. However, it is out of this board of elders, it does seem that Steve Drain might be answering church calls, a job position that used to seem to be, well, primarily Shirley's. So it also might be a sense that Steve Drain himself, I don't know if Timothy Phelps is or what the case is, but it seems almost to me like Steve Drain himself is trying to stranglehold and solidify his power almost like David Koresh, in a sense. Um, as it's Shirley's role seems to have really taken a back seat, or as the Topeka Capital Journal put it, fallen from grace and wasn't as visible in the church. So it is not known if she's been excommunicated, if her role's just been reduced because of the patriarchal issue going on here, but essentially this leads to believe that Drain is really slowly pulling off a coup d'etat, ruling jointly with Tim Phelps, or maybe even just solidifying complete power over the church and tightening the reins and possibly making this cult more cult-like. Much like the patriarchal and theological cults that we've seen in the past, like Waco, the um, FLDS in West Texas, Colorado City, Arizona, um, and other different cults throughout the country, it would appear that Westboro may be heading down a similar path. This sadly leads to the scary realization that the cult members may not only be, be, are being indoctrinated and brainwashed into this theological ideology, but also may be being abused mentally, physically, emotionally, and unfortunately sexually. Of course, this is all speculation. What is important is that the Irish referendum received 62% of the vote, which is a large chunk of people to be so openly happy about it, especially considering the Catholic nature of Ireland. However, as the Catholic Church has been having slightly different views and the voting public begins to become more accepting of gay marriage, by the way, 62% is about the same, if not just a little bit higher, than the American public, who also supports gay marriage, by the way, um, it is not, as the Catholic Church and these, the voting public begins to become more accepting of gay marriage, this would come as no surprise. It also should come as no surprise that the Westboro, that Westboro is being so openly spiteful, being as they, well, hate gays, hate Catholics, and hate Irish people. So it should be no surprise to see that Westboro acting as representatives of fascism to open their mouths on affairs that they have no business dealing with. Were this a government organization, which blessed be it isn't, this would be, would be considering an interference into the affairs of the Irish state and a violation of their basic rights of sovereignty. In other words, Westboro, shut the fuck up. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace. Watch these pituary retards bang their fucking skulls together and congratulate you on living in the land of freedom. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you.